Welcome. Uh, thank, thanks for my uh, drawing my session about KVM performance with VNUMA topology bonding. Uh, uh, I would like to share my uh, experience about tuning and uh, in encountered performance issue about uh, KVM performance. Uh, uh, this is my first uh, drawing the lab conference. So please allow me to do the self introduction. Uh, my name is Da Wei Pang. I'm QE performance engineer, uh, working at SUSE since 2019. Uh, I'm focused on the HANA performance testing, and that means uh, uh, we use some benchmark, include uh, the, some SAP benchmark to run uh, and measure the HANA performance uh, on slice. And, and, and uh, we, uh, we also need to do some training and uh, research uh, about how the performance uh, declined and, uh, uh, and what happened and, uh, and so on. Uh, I'm based in Beijing, China. Uh, I, I, like, uh, I like watching uh, board working and some old uh, steam locomotive. Uh, so uh, feel free to communicate with me if, if you're inter in interested in this area. Uh, and uh, I would like to thank my colleague. Um, he, uh, we co-work about um, over 10 years about this topic, uh, uh, include impl uh, implement automation uh, and uh, tuning and uh, research issues. Uh, Jun Wang is my, uh, is my colleague on, on the uh, uh, HANA and KVM part. Um, background. Uh, I would like to share a uh, lessons learned from, from, from my side. Uh, QE is required to run the regression performance testing and to compare uh, bimetal and uh, KVM virtual machine. Our goal is, uh, I, I, we hope VM performance is closing to bimetal, but actually it's, uh, it actually it's not, <laughs> just hopefully. Uh, we, uh, we, um, we, we try to our best to reduce the difference, performance difference between virtual machine and the bare metal. Uh, so the best practice for SAP HANA on KVM, this is discussed uh, yesterday by Anno and Dario. Uh, he uh, he, he uh, summary his experience about how to set up uh, the we uh, we am for SAP Hana. Um, uh, um, he uh, they already um, published for 50SP2 and 50SP4. For QE side, we need uh, implement uh, the automate the automation to set up the virtual machine. Follow this guide. Uh, this. This is guide is a lot of information about, uh, for example, how to set up, uh, uh, by, uh, how to set up bare metal, include a huge page and uh, uh, in, uh, uh, state state and and so on, uh, and a lot of guidance and the re uh, uh, suggestion about uh, how to set up a virtual machine. Uh, from QE side, we are um, we are working to implement the automation. And from our design, uh, we implement uh, mm, automation like a middleware. Uh, that means we have some configuration uh, like input. Then the automation set up bare metal and the virtual machine. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Mm. Uh, set, uh, set, set up bare metal and the virtual machine like uh, uh, fo follow the document uh, to compatible with kind of benchmark requirement. Uh, for uh, uh, sorry, for for example, some benchmark run the uh, run in the virtual machine, but some benchmark is just uh, deploy HANA in the virtual machine. Not, uh, not directly run the benchmark in the virtual machine. So to compatible with different uh, benchmark, uh, we, uh, uh, we output uh, watch, uh, watch machine IP address we set up to the benchmark. 
then the benchmark can flex flexible to set up uh, HANA and, uh, and, uh, and other requirements. Of course, uh, we can launch the benchmark uh, on the VM directly. It, it is easy to, to implement. And for our automation, we support multiple benchmarks yeah, and are compatible with Sleepwolf. Sleepwolf is, mm, uh, I, I, I guess, the performance uh, developer know that th th this is the uh, perform uh, from QE side uh, implement uh, performance automation. Uh, it can help us uh, schedule uh, test case and uh, select the log and uh, submit the logs to the database database and uh, uh, can pro can generate the comparison uh, between um, between uh, baseline and uh, milestone and so on. Uh, recent, uh, in, in recently, uh, we implement dynamic generator uh, the VM configuration uh, because from the lessons learned, uh, we need auto. Uh, we do not use the. We cannot use the static configuration. Include auto yast and the uh, and, uh, VM configuration. Uh, uh, if different system has different, uh, for example, CPU, NUMA, and uh, auto yast configuration. So we just uh, create a template. So the automation based on the input generate, uh, convert the template to XML so as, uh, so the out, so as to the auto yast and uh, VM, VM configuration can work with specific hardware and a specific requirement. Uh, for example, uh, uh, when we need tuning, we need to set up different uh, configuration or, uh, for, for example, mitigation parameter, or, uh, for, uh, for example, and uh, uh, state, uh, different C state parameter, uh, we, uh, we can just the right input so the, autom so the automation can set up uh, bare metal uh, based on the input parameters. Um, what performance uh, problem we encountered? Uh, when we use a static uh, configuration, uh, the static configuration can work well on Skylake. But when we switch to the Catholic CPU platform, it works, uh, the, the performance is bad, not as expected, a large difference. Uh, I, I will show you uh, in the following slides. Uh, what lessons learned uh, we, uh, we have? Uh, so uh, for VM configuration, especially for uh, performance, um, we, uh, we need to understand the CPU, parameter CPU, and the NUMA topology. That helps to uh, deploy a better performance for required. Okay, this is our, my overview. Uh, be, uh, before talking about the VNUMA, let us talk about the physical NUMA. Uh, this picture is come from uh, uh, R840 installation and the service manual. Uh, we can get it from uh, their website. Uh, this is the um, uh, four socket, uh, four socket CPU system, uh, and uh, the DIM memory around the CPU. So um, we, uh, we uh, you uh, generally we think this is has four NUMA. Okay, NUMA node. I uh, actually the BIOS can do more than uh, split uh, and so on. So the, we will not talk about this topic. We just uh, talk about the general the gen, uh, general four socket system. Uh, LSTOPO. Okay, this is uh, we usually to see how the uh, the uh, bimetal system um, topology. Uh, uh, <laughs> this is picture is very small, <laughs> very small. Okay, I I I zoom in. Uh, I actually when we generate the, this picture, I remove the I/O part. Okay, uh, so currently we uh, we will not. Not talk 
uh, I/O part. Only talk memory and the CPU part. Um, this is zoom in to, to here. Uh, actually, the, the LSTO PO may, be, may sometimes make, um, make me at least some trouble. Uh, for this CPU core, it's, it's displayed L. L means logic. Logic is in order. One, uh, zero, one, two, three, four, okay? But actually, uh, um, actually, I think P, the start is P physical, is, is, um, is useful for us. Um, when, uh, at the beginning, we just see, uh, see the logic, but um, that is um, maybe some trouble. So I would like to um, say uh, P, this is the um, CPU IPIC ID. Uh, this is real and uh, and useful for uh, us to deploy the VM correct performance VM. And this, uh, so uh, for for our goal is is build a similar um, uh, build a similar toploid uh, VM uh, as similar as bare metal. Uh, of course, um, based on the best practice, we need uh, use part of memory. Um, because we need uh, allocate the, some memory to have either. Okay. So um, uh, how, how to mapping uh, between the bare metal and the virtual machine? Uh, the best practice section 4.4 uh, description, a lot of suggestion and uh, uh, recommendation. Uh, I, I would like to highlight some, um, uh, some useful uh, items. Uh, for example, the vCPU, the, the vCPU defined how, how, how many CPU set, uh, how many CPU allocated to virtual machine. For the best practice required, we need uh, allocated full CPU, all the CPU bare metal to the virtual machine. And the other one is CPU twin. CPU twin, that's, that's, uh, is vCPU pin. This is it's, um, today focus on, and uh, uh, and the, and the Numa twin is uh, is about how to organize uh, how to organize a uh, Numa uh, Numa node for virtual machine, uh, and the, and the CPU toploid that this is uh, how to pass through and and how to organize uh, to virtual machine four sockets, uh, how many cores, how many threads. Uh, uh, as we know, Intel platform, the, the hyper-threading is two. Okay. And, uh, and how, uh, how to allo allocate uh, the virtual, virtual CPU and the memory to each NUMA node. Uh, so, uh, we, we just a quick overview uh, the, the some items uh, we need to take care of during v VM configuration. Okay. Ideally, um, we uh, we run uh, the uh, we run the VM. We hope not cross NUMA. Just map, map to one by one, not cross to NUMA. This is for PCPU. We also need uh, each uh, NUMA internal. We need map, map one by one. This is the uh, this is the best best uh, practice uh, suggestion. And uh, this is will provide the best uh, performance, ideally. Okay. Um, based on uh, based on the suggestion, uh, this this is will limit the overhead caused by virtual CPUs being moved around physical CPUs by the host scheduler. Uh, of course, the memory has similar uh, configuration. Uh, next is uh, how to handle the hyper-threading uh, sibling uh, pair, okay? Uh, how to find which CPU is sibling pair, okay? Uh, we, we have the uh, interface, this interface to find. For example, uh, this is NUMA0. Zero. Uh, Numa zero. Uh, how to find the, the PCPU0 um, pair? It, uh, we use this interface. We can find this 112. So, the, the 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 blue line and the green line are a pair, 
And this, this is also the same in the node one. Um, the reason is um, KVM and QMU use static half threading sibling for CPU uh, ID assignment. Um, for example, this is bare metal. Uh, we cannot modify bare metal uh, CPU sibling, but uh, we uh, we can organize and map to the map to the virtual ma machine. So my uh, this box uh, have two uh, two uh, hyper threading. Uh, it's both mapped to the bare metal. Uh, this is just an e example. Okay, based on uh, based on the uh, uh, based on the above um, uh, suggestion and the recommendation, we uh, we we create the uh, CPU pin. Uh, okay, this is lo uh, uh, a long a long list, uh, but I just uh, cut some uh, something. And this uh, we uh, we can see this. A map to uh, to the physical bare metal, and uh, the, uh, uh, we we have four nodes. So the old the old nodes is uh, st uh, static mapping in the VCPU pin. So when we implement the, this method, uh, this is on Skylake uh, Fujitsu system. Uh, when we run the NPB testing, NPB is uh, is open source for. Uh, com for computing, uh, we always uh, use it to measure the schedule. Um, the the gr sorry the 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 red line is bare metal, and the blue line is uh, virtual machine. Uh, they are all their result is very close, so we think this is the good performance, mm, and this is expected. Uh, we can uh, uh, we can take a look one thing. Uh, the Skylake, uh, the Skylake system, uh, the CPU is continuously in order. This is PCPU from zero to twenty-seven, and so we can uh, we can organize them from zero uh, in order. Uh, okay, uh, this is bare metal. We also in uh, in order to organize the um, the. The the PCPU okay okay this is work uh, work uh, actually expected and uh, can uh, when uh, like the locomotive they they run in the same step and uh, oh sorry uh, and uh, and in the high workload and uh, and uh, and uh, and provide a very high um, performance but. When they when when they run use the same configuration on Catholic uh, system, uh, we have uh, there are uh, uh, there eight R eight four zero with four uh, Catholic CPUs. Uh, we found uh, when we run the similar testing, we found the bare metal and the uh, uh, virtual machine result is 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 far different. Uh, the highest the decline is 50%. Um, the result, uh, bare metal, this is the, this, this is latency. A small latency is better. Uh, so in the bare metal, it's, it's 57, uh, but the virtual machine is 91. So th this is large um, decline. This is not follow all expected. Uh, uh, actually, we found we found this maybe over three months. Okay, we, uh, from from QE side, the the Fujitsu Skylake CPU is continuously, but Catholic very uh, very different uh, struct. Zero uh, zero PCPU zero you know the uh, you know the zero. PCPU one, you know the one, and the PC, PCPU two, you know, they distribute in different CPU nodes. Okay, 
Uh, this picture maybe uh, maybe uh, directly compare with Sky Lake and uh, Cast Lake. Uh, Sky Lake, like zero one in order, but Cast Lake the zero in node node zero. PCPU one in node one, and the PCPU four in node zero. And this is very different different structure. Hope I uh, uh, hope the picture described correct uh, is clear. Okay. So uh, the left is our expected uh, each NUMA map to to uh, lo uh, local NUMA node. But if we using Catholic with VPN um, config, the uh, the virtual machine cross NUMA node. Although the, the operating system run the virtual machine, see, uh, the, uh, run in the different NUMA node, but actually in virtual machine, the, the different CPU bounding to the different, different node. This is, this is bad performance root cause. Okay, that's why when we, uh, when we deploy the virtual machine, if we need high performance, we need, uh, we need understand the what CPU Struct on bare metal. Okay, mm. this uh, this is comparison. The yellow line is bad CPU pin. The blue line is good CPU pin. So you can see the performance is is re, is recovered. Uh, of course, this this is caused by um, by our uh, uh, by my knowledge limitation. So that's why uh, this is happen. Okay. So after we, uh, we correct the CPU pin, uh, we, we got good performance. Um, okay, based on, uh, based on this situation, we start to improve our automation. We, we implement automatically generate the VM configuration dynamically. We use the um, Python make template uh, so uh, our automation can select the hardware information uh, by specific con configuration and the bi and the bare metal. Um, we need checking some something and the pro pre processing our template, then generate the VM uh, configuration and define the VM. Here is an example about uh, how to uh, dynamic. Uh, eight, eight uh, pass through device. Uh, we can define the configuration by controller PCI in our configuration. Uh, provides for uh, for example uh, PCI bus device functional. Okay. Uh, when uh, we uh, we can walk through the whole PCI uh, whole PCI list and uh, and eight them and generate in the uh, pass through de uh, device dynamic in the in the v, uh, VM configuration. Okay, this is the uh, this is um, how we implement how to generate the vCPU pin dyna dynamically. Uh, the the core file is uh, core file interface is CPU interface and uh, core ID uh, threads sibling, uh, siblings list and the physical package ID and we generate the, it's dynamically, full dynamically for the configuration. Um, let me show, uh, okay. Uh, uh, left is bad, right is good. So this, this, this is stiff. We just modified, uh, we just modified the, the, the mapping and the performance is good. So, uh, Nothing changed. Okay. Let us back to the. Okay. Uh, after we finish the um, automation, so we run the more test. This is NPD, U, UA, uh, OpenMP, and MG. And this, uh, this, this is spied, yellow is spied, and uh, uh, blue experimental, red is um, virtual machine. So the result is very good on, on Cassie Lake. So currently our, our auto, um, automation can automatically detect, 
detected with VCPU pin, so the automation can work well on Sky Lake and uh, Cast Lake, uh, two socket and four socket systems. Okay, um, this is um, this is about HANA um, HANA performance comparison. The, uh, this is generated by uh, a, a benchmark. There is uh, over over six hundred test cases in the benchmark. Uh, okay, uh, the um, the the text is very strange, uh, very, very small. Uh, this is zero. Uh, this is relative. Uh, relative means uh, the uh, this is the result is compared between bare metal. So uh, the zero is um, uh, actually most is declined, but we hope the decline is small. The green line is after opt optimized VCPU pin. The the blue line. As average uh, before optimized, so this is large improved, reduce the difference between um, bare metal and the virtual machine. Uh, this is the, uh, the other um, analyzed method is distribution. So we hope we hope less test case result below minus ten percent. If we use uh, if we use bad CPU pin, lots of uh, about half of test case uh, below the decline below the minus ten. But when we optimize the performance, the uh, uh, a little test case below minus ten. So minus ten is our threshold for evaluate uh, evaluate performance. But this is not um, always um, rules. But um, this is a uh, general rules. Okay, um, uh, that's all from my side. Uh, any question or any uh, uh, any uh, I can uh, we can have more discussion. Okay, that's all. That's all. Thank you. Oh please. Uh, yeah. Hello. Can I have a question? Well, maybe you can explain it to me. Uh, you mentioned that uh, basically you need to uh, remap uh, all the the pins of the uh, virtual city CPUs for the different architectures. Uh, I thought that like if you are creating the XML file uh, for the virtual mm -hmm. machine, you can choose the uh, this architecture which mm -hmm. is used, like Skylake or Cascade Lake. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes. So does it mean that uh, it will not automatically map the correct uh, like virtual CPUs? Um, on I, okay. Uh, our um, I hope hope my picture uh, can. Um, we uh, we can directly uh, selecting uh, call ID and the physical package ID, and so uh, actually our sys sys Interface already provides this information, mm -hmm. so we just uh, use this information uh, via our code to generate this. This is what I mean. That if you are creating the XML file like, uh, for the virtual machine, or uh, and you can put, uh, I think it's uh, somewhere written in that uh, uh, XML file of uh, Lippert uh, that you define this uh, architecture of the CPU. Uh, okay. Mm. So uh, this is like uh, what I'm not sure I understand correctly. Is it because usually when I create a virtual machine, I can just uh, choose use host uh, architecture for the CPU, and I assume that it will map it how it should be. Uh, no, the, the, we generate the dynamic. Uh, okay. Can you see? Uh, we uh, in our code we use Mako template. This is just only one line. Mm. This is a loop. Index and sibling, and uh, numa information. So we just uh, uh, use our code to to generate this information to generate long information. So now it depends on specific ha hardware. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, the code can uh, actually uh, our system interface already provides uh, related information. So we do not need hard code. Uh, for example, Skylake, Cassidy Lake. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, uh, maybe I did, uh, I'm not uh, clear enough. Uh, okay. What I mean is that uh, mm. like uh, when uh, you s- that you can say to Lippert because Lippert knows uh, all or uh, mm. it does uh, some magic with the information it mm. got from the system that you say my virtual machine is uh, like the host one or it's a skylight. Mm-hmm. So uh, like because what you do here uh, to me it seems like that you are doing the same thing what Lippert would do if you just say you are on skylight. Okay. Mm. Or maybe I missed something. This is like what I'm not, not sure I understand correctly. Okay. Uh, if we can understand, uh, if, if identify which is Sky Lake, which is Cathy Lake, we can use LS CPU output, uh, CPU family, and this is typing. We can, uh, this is the, uh, this one method to identify uh, CPU time or micro architecture. But for vCPU pin, Mm, I think uh, this is not not mm, not good method because uh, uh, here is their system. But you, if we change other bare metal, the the CPU logic may be different. So okay. yep. so so yeah, yeah we, we just the dynamic to check how kernel report. Okay, so maybe this this could be mm. a good a good idea uh, to enhance uh, the, like the to um, com- uh, commit to upstream. Uh, just some changes because uh, mm-hmm. it could help the, to make a better performance even like for them because as, as you mentioned that uh, it can uh, it it will uh, map statically to different uh, virtual machines or oh, sorry mm-hmm. virtual uh, CPUs so mm-hmm. it means that like how, how to uh, make the libvert or quemu better it could mm-hmm. be like using a different kind of uh, sure. approach like this one yeah yeah ah, okay okay thank, thank you, you. Uh, feel free to discuss if have you have time. Uh, just an addition, uh, oh, I, I, I also have the feeling that if there is a bug uh, in how the uh, QMO is handling creation of virtual machines, then instead of workarounding, it would be nice to create a bug or try to fix it or something. <coughs> Can we close or? May I? <clears throat> oh, go ahead. Please. Uh, Sorry. All right. So, uh, I believe the point was that if you expose uh, the host's CPU type to the virtual machine, mm-hmm. QMU should somehow figure out which physical NUMA node belongs to which virtual NUMA node. Because the problem you presented was that each virtual NUMA node on Cascade, Cascade Lake actually contain the mixture of physical CPUs from all four NUMA nodes. Mm. And that was the root cause of the regression, um, I believe. So the, the idea was that if you just told QMU what the host CPU type is, it should uh, talk to the kernel to understand which package is, the, which physical CPU is in which package, mm-hmm. and then uh, assemble the virtual NUMA nodes according to that, basically doing your task for you without having to explicitly specify vCPU pinning. Um, oh, uh, okay, good idea. But, uh, but actually, uh, we, uh, we, uh, for, for our task, we need to uh, simulate, uh, do the very similar configuration as bare metal. But, uh, but for QMU, Actually, it, I'm not sure it can automatically generate the correct mm. information when we use the pass-through method. Mm. That's why. Actually, we, we already used pass-through, but, but actually the result not good, not as impacted. That's why we need organize the CPU, vCPU, uh, uh, CPU, everything by ourselves, NUMA node by ourselves. That is why. Mm. Okay. Uh, well, the problem... Well, not problem, uh, mm-hmm. but usually the the idea with virtualization is that you get more flexibility with respect to how tied you are to the physical layer. Yeah. So uh, it'd be best if each uh, if the CPU is belonging to one virtual NUMA node mm-hmm. ran on a specific physical NUMA node, yeah. and that's it. You wouldn't have to care about uh, which specific CPU. You are specifically pinning it to the yeah. siblings, which is okay. I, I believe it, it mm. gives you really the best performance you can get. Yeah. But uh, yes, it's laborious. 
Yes, <laughs> um, uh, I, actually, I discussed with this topic because we already use pass through CPU, right? Pass through, okay, uh, uh, but QMU can handle it as if expected. Mm, no, no answer, Darren. No, no answer me about this. Uh, this, so that, that's that's okay. why. Okay. Uh, from we we need carefully uh, map one CPU um, to bare metal to virtual machine carefully. Uh, if um, we need carefully check our mapping, if if something wrong, this performance. Um, uh, Dario said, okay, this is the wrong. So need you you need to fix. Then, then, yeah, we always check, uh, check with uh, any, uh, if there's anything wrong from my side, uh, yeah, b because Dario, uh, they're an expert for, for virtualization. Yeah, we just, uh, yeah, thank you. Okay, um, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Feel free to di di uh, discuss because this is just from QE side view. Yeah, okay. Okay, thank you.